All right, so our lovely videographer, Lockie, has put together a bit of a, a cat amongst the pigeons tasting test trial uh, to see whether or not we're actually as good as we think we are. We have six red wines, all of them are the same variety except for one, and we need to tell you which one that is. But while we're doing it, we're also gonna tell you exactly how much we'd pay for them and how many we'd buy, and if they're any good or not. So let's roll. Who is the wolf in sheep's clothing? Let's go. Wine number one. Beautiful. Smells ripe. Smells ripe as. And like like really lovely sort of bright pink sherbet. This is what the nice carriages on the Hogwarts Express would smell like. Bang, nailed it. Thanks to all the millennials out there. Yum! I love that. That's so good. It's got this like fresh burst of Ribena right at the end. And there's this like lovely structure that runs around it. Lovely. Big. Ripe. Dance, powerful, full tannin. Um, like ticking all the boxes. Uh, 40 bucks a bottle, I'd buy six. Pretty good wine. Good tasting though, Henry, well done. Chocolate raspberry tart, happy with that. Tart, tart by name, tart by nature, you know what I'm saying, Lockie? Hell yeah, you do. I want a dozen of them, hell yeah. Yep, there it is again. Bing, yum. That's so good, really love it. I love the tannin profile here as well. Uh, 40 bucks, 40 bucks, I want this one all the time. Yum, delicious, delicious red wine. Wine number two, paler, brighter, uh, but still got like a bit more of like a savory thing going on, like a bit of a faded rim, a bit, yeah, a bit browner. Interesting. Yeah, wow, okay, a lot going on here, and not all of it good, so uh, just a lot of tertiary characters, a lot of secondary characters, feels matured, aged, potentially heat affected, little bit of breath, little bit of uh, reduction. Yum. Um, <laughs> it smells like, it smells like hot booze, baby. Uh, oh, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> It's just such a different color dog, like. Maybe the odd one out, just put a little asterisk on that. Um, yummy, uh, maybe it's a narrow. Back set up on the palate, which it's kind of wishy-washy. There's not a hell of a lot of flavor, but it's kind of okay, especially if I feel that this wine's not coming out at like a crazy price point. It's almost like paint, oh, sort of masquerading as old burgundy or old pinot kind of tends to look like this sometimes as well. I'm gonna go pinot, this has that levity to it. I'm gonna go 12, I'm gonna go 70 bucks. I reckon it's pretty serious gear. Bramblier and bramblier as it goes along. Very good fun. I'm so fucking rattled, dude, what's going on? You know, okay, this is embarrassing. It turns out that one of these wines is just sitting more in the light than the others, so it looks way darker. Really good, I love that. Yeah, it's got this like lovely fresh berry kind of energy to it. Very cool, very vibrant. This feels to me like Gamay. Lighter color, that sort of like slight sort of browning there, full tannin, nice structured. Doesn't stick around the palate very long. Very easy drinking, could be a nice chilled red. Potential to chill. <laughs> chilled it. Ah, playful, it's bright, it's chillable, it's good. Raspberry, fresh cherry, easy drinking. I, yeah, happily slam buckets of this. I don't think it's a, a, a great standout out of this world crazy gamay, but it's pretty good. Uh, I'd pay 38 bucks a bottle for it and I would buy six bottles. Like every time I drink a wine for the first time and every time I meet a person for the first time, I always ask myself like, could I chill with this? Um, <laughs> this wine? Hell yeah, dog. I'm down to chill. It's like, who would hate this? How could you hate this? It's just good fun. Uh, six, I'd happily pay 30 bucks. Very, very good. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, again, something a little bit lighter in color. It smells quite muted. There's like not a hell of a lot going on here. Bugger all on the nose here, if I'm frank. That's so good I'm Henry, fuck me. Very buoyant, but I love that. It's got this like purple thing to it. That's really cool. A little bit underripe, I'd say. Maybe some whole bunch use, but the stems weren't quite ripe. It's got that kind of sapid green thing, but it's not super bad, but it's not like perfect. Pretty good wine, flows through on the palate. It's nice, wishy-washy. Keep saying this wishy-washy term. What I really mean is like, it's not really defined by its acid. The acid's pretty muted. The tannin and structure is really there, but it's got the flow of a Pinot. Then on the palate, very lightweight, very lightweight, very crushable. I'd imagine this is gonna be quite a cheap wine. Um, I do like cheap wines. I'm gonna say 45 bucks for that, but yeah, nice kind of whole bunchy kind of fresh take on this style of wine. It's good fun though, it's really good fun. Like I can, I'd happily, you know, if someone gave me a glass of this, I'd be ha very, very happy. I'd pay again like 38 bucks a bottle and I would buy like three bottles. Just the, the, the density, weight and power on the palate of what I feel this wine could do on the basis of the tannin development that it's got uh, just aren't matched. It's a little disjointed. Um, give me six. Um, I reckon it's 
it's just it's so it's so light body like it's so easily drinkable oh, yeah it's spicy it's playful it's cool it's really cool and just a little bit clawing in that green okay now um <laughs> again thought it cracked the code Again, very spicy, very spicy. Yeah, a lot of kind of nutmeggy, clovey. In my, granted, limited experience as a wine connoisseur, these are things that I identify with Grenache. They're not super tannic, they're not super acidic, they're everyday drinkers. Really fun. Very nice. Yeah, this is kind of like the development of the last wine. Similar style, but just a little bit riper. It was just picked a little bit later, but still has that freshness and that energy and that kind of like peaky fresh acid that kind of brings it all together. This has got a little bit more captivating interest to it. Um, if only that interest wasn't based on this sort of um, volatile acidity and, and sort of um, acetic acid. Um, okay, so I'm leaning towards, at the moment, we're in the space of Grenache as the overall we're drinking. Really into this. I'd get six and I'd pay 40 bucks again. Um, good style, really delicious. Got that structure. Happy to drink this very, very regularly. I personally wouldn't pay more than 28 bucks a bottle for it and I'd buy one bottle. Not my cup of tea. Um, still pretty good drink though. That's... That's different, dude. That's a different color. You see a glass of that, you're like, yep, more of that, please, another one. It is a bit reductive, which is a shame. Acidity, finally we've got acidity. What a beautiful, pretty wine. If it is, it's got that reduction, sort of struck, match, gunflint nose, that's fine. It all seems to be redeemed by the palate. A little bit flinty, a little bit farty. I think this one's different. Like, I really like the wine underneath it, but just that the reduction's kind of a little bit too present. Uh, yeah, it just needs a bit of a, a shake, you know, a bit of a decant. I need some time to kind of mellow out that. Because underneath it, the wine's awesome. I still, I still really fucking like it because the energy underneath it is just compelling enough for me to get a bit excited about it. Uh, I would happily pay 50 bucks a bottle for it and I would buy 12. Now as to what I believe the cat amongst the pigeons is, I believe it's wine number one. Number one sits apart. It is dark, it is dense, it has a completely different hue. The smell. So I reckon we've had one, two, three, four, five Grenaches, and now we've had a light red. I don't know, man, fucking blend. Yep, that's what I'm gonna say. Number two is Pinot, the rest are Grenache. And that's my call. That's David boys. All right, we're back with six red wines. One is a cat amongst the pigeons. One of these wines is not like the others. <laughs> what? How did you guys go with them? Good. Yeah, good. I can see the theme. Like, like, at least for me, I like. I feel like there was the two options, and I feel like there was definitely like, like I could see what the idea of you know this amongst that would look like. This, so you can. It's getting the us to figure it out, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Dude, what did you just say? <laughs> okay. This amongst that will look like this. So are you saying that it's pretty clear that there's two varieties these that here. these could be? Yeah. And they're trying, and Different Drop are trying to say like, I want you to think that it's this. Okay. And then I'm, not I sure, want I'm not sure one Different to... Drop did it though. Oh, uh, no. Well, so Lockyer, I want you to think that it's this or something like that. Yeah. So, so there's, there's, do we, have, so four, five of these are, awful. One variety, one of these is a different yes. variety. Cat mm -hmm. amongst the pigeons, do we know, have any feeling for what the variety is that are the five, the majority? Yes. Well, I've got a feeling. What did you reckon it was? I went Grenache. I went Grenache. I went Gamay. So, does that mean that the other one's gonna be Grenache or Gamay? I reckon the other one's a Grenache, and I reckon the rest are Gamay. I reckon they're all Grenaches and one's a Pinot. Ooh. That, yeah, okay. that's what I mean, you know what I mean? So I think okay. we've always had this thing where like, we all think it's Grenache and ends up being a Pinot or a Pinot and then Grenache, or at least me yeah, and you yeah, yeah, me and yeah, you do. Okay, dude, so that's what I'm thinking. All right, well, let's start wine number one, which for me was the cat amongst the pigeons. It was not for me, but I okay. really enjoyed well, it. I thought this tasted like a chocolate raspberry tart or mm. something along those lines. Yeah, 100%. Mm. It had, definitely had that energy. I This was my, my fav, uh, second favorite uh, wine of Ina. Uh, there was I... something about this wine that like, it just felt playful. Mm. Like as soon as I drank it, it was just like, oh nice. And then I had this like little like sparkle at the end mm. that made me very excited. Yeah. It was just fun. Mm -hmm. A pretty little thing. Um, I had a dozen of it for $42. I was a dozen as well. Yep, I was a dozen for 40. Uh, I was six for 40. So pretty well loved. It looks dark. It, it, it is darker. darker it is darker, yeah. And that's 
Mm. Like, oh, look at, like, in comparison to that, look at that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Damn, Jesus Christ. Yeah. L lucky, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Lovely. Yeah, I do, I do like that. We've had a it's lot of games. Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. Big fan. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wine number two. I went from a big fan to not a big fan. I really like this one. I thought it was awesome. This 12 was... bottles to me. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, 100%. Wow, this dude. is good Pino. Six bottles to me. Uh, was, so you thought this was the odd one out? I thought this was the odd I thought this was the cat. I thought this was the cat. You thought this was good Pino? Yeah, I thought this was good Pino. This is one of six of them. I like these in general. Like this is sort of the style of red wine that I like drinking. So even a you know your worst day's fishing still better than the best day's work. So like I didn't mind it. <laughs> it makes a compelling <laughs> very compelling argument. Six bottles, thirty-two dollars. Uh, one bottle, thirty-two. Twelve seventy. Oh, it is game game game. Well done, well done, well done, well done, well done. Well All right. Done. Fuck, we've had so a lot line of game. Game. Line up is gamay. I look yeah. at it's doing the whole, these are the stats. Doing the, the stats. Like, baseball I'm, keen, yeah. I'm keen for a, a Funkworks stats off. Yeah, just like, like the most generic stats that aren't impressive Can you at all. charge more money for more stats? More mm, stats. Interesting. I had, I had a, a, a bottle of these guys' Chardonnay uh, last week and it was pretty good. We have identified that neither of these wines were the cat. No, so Definitely, it's definitely pigeons. This is so like, lots of Gamay and then, which is going to be the other one? Which one is not? They, they're not Gamay. I think this is yeah, not. I, I, I think this is not. One number three. I thought this had real potential to be a This nice is Pinot. Chilled red. That is 100% Pinot. I reckon now this is going to be an excellent chilled red. Yes. 100%. Yeah. Super good chilled red. That's what I wanted it for. Um, and then we got into pub reds and stuff later on. Uh, I liked it. I liked it quite a lot. I wanted a dozen of it, but because it's uh, Chili Boy, uh, if it's excellent Pinot, it's not going to be $30, but I thought it was like a cool little chilled light red number. It's $38, isn't it? I don't think so. I reckon it's $38. Is it our wine? I reckon it's Magic 38. Shit. If that is a Gamay, I'll eat my hat. It's definitely not Gamay. Oh shit. I'm going 38 bucks. I want 12. Just saying it. Just saying it. I reckon it's, uh, it's, uh, I want six bottles for, uh, 30, 30 bucks. Yeah. 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Yeah. I don't think, uh, it's not 38. You don't All think right. it's like 38? No. Alright. What do you I, got? I, I think I know. Oh, oh no. you got Pino, you motherfucker! <laughs> oh, <thank> you. <laughs> you dog! <laughs> you dog! <laughs> You dirty dog. Wow. That's really funny. That's so Lockie, Lockie was like, hey, do we have any, like, we're just, the, clearly something happened in the lineup. And um, Lockie was like, hey, do we have any Grenache? And I was like, well, I looked around. We didn't have any Grenache that wasn't ours. And I was like, oh, I'll just use Tropo Grenache. And then he's put Pinot instead of the motherfucker. Uh, that's really good. That oh, is that really is good from good. you, Lockie. Wow. Yeah, that's really funny. Big fan. It's good, yeah. I bought a dozen of it. Big fan. Yeah, for 20, right. 20 yeah, it's like 25 bucks. It's good value Pinot. Sam, you won't be able to drink it, it's all gone. All right, one number four. We love Whole Bunch, don't we? How mm. good, how good's Whole Bunch? Mm. Yeah, now, now, we, now we've got the context of Gamay. Um, this has definitely got some Gamay energy to it. Definitely mm. spicy, definitely bunchy. Mm. It's, um, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I thought this is the sort of red wine that if you get served at a pub, you'd be like, hell yeah, dude. It's, uh, it's red wine, all right? Unpopular opinion. Here we go. This is probably gonna break like everyone's gonna get so many haters for this. I don't think Gamay is as good as people put it out to be. I completely agree, but never mind. It's like, there's a lot of hype around this and there's a lot of hype around Gamay and the Gamay I search for is Beaujolais Nouveau. Right. It's yeah. like just raspberry juice, give me that raspberry juice and yeah. I'm gonna be, um, well I went 38 for three. I was three and 45. I was $26 for six. Yeah. Oh. Four. We had the uh, Morgan the other week, mm. uh, and I loved it. Uh, I do, don't particularly like the Fleury in comparison. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That's all in French, I thought. Here's the thing, like, you know why people went to Gamay? is because it was cheaper than Burgundy. And now... Mm. Um, yeah. Line number five was probably my least favorite. I, um, I liked it a little bit more than this one. I think there was picked a little bit later. There wasn't that kind of greenness, that like real pepperiness to it. It was a little bit more... Raw, but it had a lot of tannin. I think it's like you get a promise with Gamay, but it doesn't typically deliver. Like, mm. like the smell I loved, and then yeah. it hit the palate, and I was like, oh man, like where was the core of fruit? Where I was, was getting a lot of that way? with these ones. Yeah, they smell so different to how mm. you would expect them to taste. Yeah, this is my least favorite of the bunch too. I had three bottles for thirty-six dollars. Mm. We're still in the Grenache headspace, but man, I'll take the L on that one. I was at six for forty. I thought it was good, but yeah, it's not great. Uh, one for twenty-eight. No George Pecan. We had the flurry the other week, and it was delicious. Uh, like is this like a village number? No, I think this is a village number. To be fair, having sort of like lived through the Natty Wine stuff, uh, with the budget to be able to enjoy like these producers, 
like 10 years ago. Uh, these are all cleaner than those. <laughs> so like, good. These are like, actually like, used to be known as the place that if you loved Brett, you would just go straight yeah. to, to Beaujolais. Like these are way cleaner than they are. The only been. one that you've called out for uh, Brett is, is the one from yeah. the King Valley. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. right. But last wine, this was my wine of lineup. I thought this was stonking. I when I smelt it, I was like, "Fuck, it's reductive." And then it is reductive. the more and more I tried, I'm like, "I don't For care sure. how reductive it is. Mm. I really enjoy it regardless. It's mm. pretty. It's mm. like it's got that lovely kind of." Dainty, elegant the kind of thing. The acid line on this is fun. Yeah. Because like, these sort of lacked a lot of acid, but really defined by that, that tannin yeah. structure. Whereas that's just like, boom. Like just this, all sorts of stuff going on. Really thrilling. This is what I'm looking for for Beaujolais. Tension. Yeah. A bit of tension. Mm. Yeah. You know, nervy. Really pretty, really nice, really fun. Um, mm. I had six for 30. I thought this was going to be the one that was different to everything else, but I was way off there obviously, but yeah, fun wine. I, it is, it's also a bit of a testament to how good it tastes that I can look past the uh, reductiveness because I'm usually out on reduction. Yeah, 100%. It this, tastes good, man, I'm not gonna this lie. This reminds me of, reminds me of like a, a, a new world Aussie, like a coat of barrels. Yeah, that, for sure. That like, I reckon, and that's like that sort of reductive silence, thing. Yeah. That price of silence, yeah, absolutely. That's that's my vibe here. Uh, I went uh, 12 for 50, thought oh, I loved it. I was 12 for 60. Ooh. Yeah, 6 for 30, how many? Hey. 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 Look at that. Fancy that's that. fantastic. Yeah, Fancy hell yeah, silence. dude. That is awesome. Yeah, Amber's holding it down. Yeah, hell really yeah. Good. Holding it down, Amber and Man. Louis and the team. This, you know what's great? We did the Gamay bracket with, uh, you know, uh, with, with New Louis World vs. Old World and Louis Scofield okay. was the winner. Yeah. And now we've done, just to like, spot the cat amongst the pigeons, Pino amongst Gamay and, you know, Amber and Louis. <laughs> So, you know, in I Australia, think they're pretty good at gamma. Yeah, Louis is good at gamma, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that shed is producing some good gamma. That's amazing. Well, uh, I think we're all in agreement. I think it was the, apart from that, was which was also well loved. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Morgan was good. There you go. It's a uh, close Cote second place. Domaine to Javinier, uh, Cote de Puy. Oh, that's Cote de Puy. Fucking Cote de Puy. <laughs> Cote de Puy. Cote de Puy. Cote de Puy. Is it Cote de Puy or Cote de Puy? Can anyone in the comments let us know how to pronounce it? P-Y. Yeah, but let this, us know how to pronounce but it. But get amongst it, honestly. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. Like and subscribe, of course. Buy us a glass of wine, and if <laughs> not, buy yourself a bottle of that. Yeah, yeah. honestly. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Ciao, ciao. Bye.